Uh, we're here today uh, in a residential area of, uh, of Ward 1 to, uh, to talk about the city's new uh, trash program, which is going to be rolled out uh, quite literally uh, in late June. And we want to get an early start to this so that everybody's prepared. carts you see in front of you are 65 gallon carts. The neighborhoods can expect to see carts being delivered in May um, by ABC Disposal. Um, cart distribution will be uh, as follows. Single family homes will each receive uh, two 65 gallon carts, one for trash and the orange lid cart for recycling. Um, buildings with two dwelling units or two family homes will see one 95 gallon cart for trash and one for recycling. Um, three dwelling units will be will two will receive two 95 gallon carts, um, two for trash, two for recycling. Four families will also receive two 95 gallon carts for trash and two for recycling. Buildings with five and six dwelling units will receive three 95 gallon carts for trash and two for recycling. Businesses and nonprofits um, will be able to receive um, a 65 or 95 gallon cart for trash. Um, in addition, they'll be required to uh, receive a cart of equal size or greater for recycling. The, the carts, the carts that you see before you, are, are demonstrated demonstration carts. Uh, the city's carts will have the city seal on them. They'll also have a white strip on each side so that. Uh, landlords can put their address on them. Um, we would also strongly recommend that the lids be fully closed as you see them now. That'll prevent seagulls um, and other pests from getting in them. Um, the, the main thing that we're trying to do is, is to reduce the amount of litter that you see on the streets and a big contributing factor to that is trash bags you know that are left outside of the cart, outside of barrels, barrels that are uncovered. So we're trying to eliminate that so it's extremely important that the covers be closed. Bulky pickup is going to revert back to the way it used to be done um, prior to, uh, to ABC collecting trash. Uh, you'll call ABC, people will be allowed to call ABC. Bulky items are couches, chairs. If it doesn't fit in the cart, it's a, it's a bulky item. Um, couches, chairs, tables, etc. Call ABC. Um, they'll give you an appointment for your bulky to be picked up. The bulk is placed curbside the day of the appointment, and ABC will come by and pick it up and get it out of the way. Let me, let me just tick off some of the, you know, the, the chief benefits here. So the program is designed to increase citywide recycling and reduce litter and decrease the amount of solid waste that goes into the Crapo Hill landfill. Uh, in other words, this is good for the, re the environment. It is an environmentally friendly program. And frankly, it's a program that's in use in many urban areas, including uh, in Fall River. So folks who have you know, who wonder whether this is going to work in a densely populated, uh, in densely populated neighborhoods, more densely populated than, than this one, the answer is yes. It's worked in other places, it's going to work here. Uh, it's going to result in cash savings for New Bedford. Um, with the anticipated doubling of the city's recycling rate, trash tonnage collected is expected to decrease significantly, and we estimate that the city could realize uh, about $100,000 in annual savings. The new single stream recycling program will make it much simpler to recycle. Residents and businesses will no longer need to separate recyclables into multiple bins. All bottles, cans, paper, and cardboard will be placed in the recycling cart with the orange lid. These are the same items that you already set in your blue bins and set at the curb. These include newspapers, schoolwork, lottery tickets, water bottles, salsa jars, tuna fish cans, and more. Additional materials can be recycled at the city transfer station located at 1103 Shawman Avenue. Examples of these items include styrofoam blocks, cooking oil, books, rigid plastics, uh, that would be like a five gallon bucket or an old trash barrel, uh, as well as many other materials. We are planning extensive outreach to notify residents and business owners about the new collection program. Information will be available on the city's website at www.newbedford.com.
ma.gov and we'll also have a list of frequently asked questions. Also look for us at the home show, neighborhood meetings, in the local media as well on Facebook and Twitter. And if you do have any questions, feel free to call the Department of Facilities and Fleet Management at 508-961-3008.